Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we have Rosie here with us, who's recently got into Cisco as an SRE and she's here to share her interview experience with us. Before we go into talking to her, let us just look at the eligibility criteria. So the students who were eligible were from branches CSE, IT, ECM and EC. Also MTech students were eligible. You should have a 70% or 7 CGPA above in uh, 10th and 12th and 70% or 7 CGPA above in college with no standing arrears. Hi Rosie, welcome to my channel. Uh, firstly, congratulations on your placement. Uh, would you like to uh, introduce yourself first? Uh, thank you so much, Vishnu, and thank you for having me here. Hi everyone, uh, my name is Rosie. I'm currently pursuing my uh, B.Tech in Computer Science and Engineering from VIT Chennai. And presently for my 8th semester, I'm interning at Cisco and I'll be joining Cisco as a full-time employee the month of August. Okay, okay. Thank you. So, uh, would you now like to tell us your the total process, like how many rounds were there and what they comprised of? Yeah, so the number of rounds are quite uh, pretty much standard even in Cisco. Uh, there are three rounds. And so, firstly, I'll uh, tell you about the initial round, that is a screening round, round zero. So, in that round, we had 25 MCQ questions and one coding question. So, since Cisco is a networking company, um, in many of the interviews and selection processes, well, you know, companies don't emphasize on networking questions. But in Cisco, you would have to study networks as well. Okay. So among the 25 questions, uh, 15 of them were based directly from networks. Okay. Then uh, we had around um, five questions from aptitude, then some from uh, data structures, like, you know, uh, the time hmm. complexity, etc. Hmm. Okay. Now, uh, talking about the coding question, uh, it was a medium level lead code questions for those of you who do lead code. Uh, if you are good with basic programming and you can do easy level of those medium uh, mm. lead code questions, mm. you should be able to clear it easily. Okay. So, I remember uh, the question was similar to lead code question 809. So, you can go and check it out over there. Okay. So, after the screening round, around uh, 97 students uh, were shortlisted for the further placement process. And around 15 of them were from the site reliability engineering role, that is my role. Okay. So, so now talking about round number one. So all the interviews in Cisco, uh, we have two panelists. Uh, usually we have one, but mm. here you'll have a senior panelist and someone from his team. Okay. So in the first round, um, the interviewer started the interview uh, like you know by introducing themselves it was a very pleasant atmosphere so you would not be tense mm. and then you can start the interview with your you know your basically first introducing yourself then um, after that they asked me a couple of data structures question like why do you need data, data structures difference mm. between linked lists and arrays then okay. you should know about the insertion deletion mm. like you know how much time complexity they need so all that. Apart from that, uh, they then shifted to trees. So they asked me, uh, like you know, about binary search trees, and then then they were like telling me the difference between BSD versus array versus linked list. Linked list. Mm. So you should know when you have to use a linked list, when you have to use a BSD. So your concepts of data structures should be quite clear, mm. and you can easily, uh, like you know, answer these questions. Okay. After that. Um, they asked me some questions from operating systems, mm. like uh, they asked me what operating system I use. So since I am a Linux user, it was quite, I would say, a plus point. So mm. they asked me a few Linux commands and like, you know, a little bit about Linux. Okay. Then they shifted to networks. As I already said, networks is a really uh, essential part. Mm. Yeah. So they asked me about TCP and UDP protocols, the differences, when to use it. So similar questions, I mean, I can't recollect any more questions currently. Mm. currently. After that, um, since this was a technical round, they did not e emphasize much on my projects, but like, you know, a small touch of it. Okay. So they asked me to explain one of the projects and basic questions, why did you do the project and what was the goal behind it, that's it. Okay. So that's all. That was the first round. Okay. So, um, after that, uh, then, uh, I was selected for the second round and over here also we had two panelists. Okay. One was a senior manager and the other one was one of a, one person from his team mostly. 
so even here we started the interview by uh, giving each other introduction of ourselves the second question they asked me was about dns so since again this is for a network company so a lot of questions do come from networks and then you should know about reverse dns when you use it so mm. a little bit of that uh, like you know some things about dns was asked okay. apart from that since this was a managerial round we directly went into my projects and the first uh, question uh, like you know he told me was uh, would you like to explain a project which you are really proud of or mm. something you know which you really think is a really good mm. achievement mm. so i took one of my initial projects mm. and i explained him all the modules everything like you know step by step mm. process mm. so following to that he asked me about the technologies used and why did you use it so you mm. know there was certain amount of cross questioning over there and then he was asking me about the you know database you use like you know back in how did you integrate it etc mm. after all this um, since it was a managerial round he also wanted to see how much of a uh, you know team working working person you are so he gave me a situation uh, like now this is a uh, covid time so we are all working from home right so during a project what difficulties did you face so in that case you should come up with genuine answers like the ones which you have actually faced mm. so for example collaborating with your team members your time zones must be a problem mm. then his second question was like when you work with a group of people what are the problems you can face so obviously if i'm doing project with certain person his stack, uh, text uh, stack can be different my text stack is different mm. so we have to come into a conclusion of which technologies we can use which would be easy to both of us mm. so you know these are some general questions which when you do projects on your own you come across these problems mm. so some general um, questions on these were asked and apart from that it was a general discussion on what are the like you know uh, other skills and interests i have what do i like to do in my leisure time okay so okay. that's it this was about my manager round hmm. so after that uh, i was called for the asia round the asia round was a very simple one um, she basically just asked me a few questions um about like you know whether you want to pursue higher studies mm-hmm. and etc okay. just a basic background check mm-hmm. and then she just asked me if you know you are okay to be located to any other place like from your uh, home mm-hmm. place so you know, if you are okay just answer honestly mm-hmm. so that's it that was it okay so at the end i think from vit uh, from across all the four campuses we went 13 or 14 students and in my role i guess um, we were four students from okay. side to side okay okay that's great uh, thank you for sharing your experience uh, now do you have any suggestions like uh, for example networks as you said it's important where can we study from like for networks yeah so as i already said uh, when you are facing uh, interviews a uh, question from a company like cisco so you should uh, thoroughly prepare a uh, dbms um, operating systems along with that do not neglect networks mm. you should also prepare networks and you know geeks for geeks has a lot of uh, like you know interview preparation mm. questions so you first go through that like you know you get all the basic and the important topics and as you are studying keep searching like you know go deeper mm. understand the concepts so whenever they ask you any questions uh, you should answer it only if you know Hmm. there is no point of you know beating around the bush and just trying to answer it they obviously know that you don't know it so hmm. that creates a negative impact right so if you know it answer it if not uh, uh, politely tell them that you are not aware of this topic or you have to read on okay so and apart from that as far as i have uh, experienced put only the projects which you have actually done throughout your college life do not you know fake it Mm. because then you are explaining your project after that when they ask you cross questions it's quite in depth related to your project so if you have not done it over there you would be caught so whatever you have done just go through your projects before you appear for any interviews not just this particular company know what you have done just recollect what whatever you have done and know the like you know what 
what could have been the alternative and why you have taken up this uh, mm-hmm. this particular method so that's it so you just go through your projects and have a proper resume uh, put three four of your projects and if you have done any internship you can put that internship as well mm. and just put everything in a genuine manner do not uh, try to showcase something you're not okay. because they yeah. are quite experienced you have senior managers who are like you know interviewing you so they will understand would, yeah they will understand mm. so that's it okay And apart from that, you can emphasize a lot on lead code. Ah, uh, lead code is gonna really help you out, or any other coding platform, if or whatever you are comfortable in. Mm-hmm. And do a lot of questions and understand ah uh, the data structures in a good way. You, know, it will be needed when you practically solve the problem, as well as theoretically when you will be appearing for the technical uh, rounds. Okay. Okay. Okay thank you so much for your suggestions and thank you so much for coming on and sharing your experience Thank you so much Ishu thank you for having me here Yeah thank you everyone for watching